Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is the coat that I will be making today. It is a double breasted coat for a baby. This is a size for zero to three months. I am going to show you another one that I have a, in bigger nine to 12 months. So we can make it for up to a year. We will be measuring and just picking out what we need to make it bigger or smaller, depending on the size that you pick to make. Okay, so this is a double breasted uh, coat. That means that the two fronts are overlapping like this. And as you can see, it is splitting up in the front and the back is a slightly longer than the front part. So this is the front and let me show you the back. And this is how it looks in the back. It is really, really cute. Now, if you are a complete beginner and you really want to make this, uh, what I would say, uh, skip the video forward for about mm, 10 to 15 minutes and have a look of what we are going to do and how we're making this just to make sure that you understand everything that I will be doing because we will be making two extra rows right here in the back uh, to lift up the back up and just to make sure that you understand where the stitches are going okay so just if you're a complete beginner if you have made cardigans before I'm quite sure that you will be absolutely fine with this so this is a size of zero to three months as I have said let me get you the bigger size and this is the size of nine to twelve months as you can see again it is exactly the same just bigger and this is the back of it it is really cute it is really soft it actually is really quite uh, quick to make for this project, we're going to need four stitch markers, four buttons. Uh, make sure that your buttons are at least two centimeters in diameter or about two and a half, which would be about an inch wide, just so they're not too small for our buttonholes. Uh, scissors, needle, four millimeter hook, which is going to match our yarn because we are going to be using lightweight free yarn this is for everybody because i have done a little bit of counting and it works out perfectly with any sort of lightweight free yarn now i have this this is 100 percent acrylic a mega ball i'm not gonna need the, this whole skin this is 400 grams uh, about 300 meters uh, in 100 grams we are we will need for the two smaller sizes from zero to three months and three to six months we are going to need about a hundred grams of main color and for the two bigger sizes six to nine and nine to twelve months we are going to need just a tiny little bit over a hundred well you might get away with a hundred depending on your tension okay so grab uh, any color that you want any lightweight free yarn is going to be fine or DK yarn and four millimeter hook we are going to need a little bit of some other color for the edging and the collar. I have this Knitting Essentials Baby. This is in white. Just This is a different brand. Just make sure that they are at least very, very close in thickness. Like this. Okay, so about 50 grams of this. Next up is that we're going to need a measuring tape my one is in centimeters so we will have to measure a little bit not that much not as usual that I do when I do my videos you still need that so in centimeters and this is the little chart that I have made I have wrote down the measurements we are just going to check and see where we are at okay so what we are going to need so these are the sizes that we are going to make uh, if you are tempted to make a bigger size it's probably not gonna work, not with these. Uh, it needs a, a change, like in a technical part of making it to make it bigger. These are going to be small for uh, over 12 months. Okay, so what we're going to need is the yoke. This is the height of the yoke that we will be measuring. Chest for the finished cardigan. So you can see right here, I have a full measurement around the chest. So. 46 48 50 and 52 and then after the little slash this is the half just because we are going to measure a half of that um, cardigan just to make it easier for you then the sleeve length and I just wrote down about plus minus about the length from the armhole down of the coat and I'm gonna talk about this once we are starting 
to crochet. So, as you can see, it is all in centimeters and we will be measuring. Uh, I believe I have said everything and we can just start crocheting. So to start crocheting, grab your hook, your main color yarn, four stitch markers and let us start. So this yoke with 62 chains is going to work for zero to three months and three to six months. Now 68 chains is going to work for six to nine months and nine to 12 months. Now I was going to measure our starting chain as I usually do, uh, but I have tried making those chains and I have measured them in every DK yarn or every lightweight free yarn that I had at home and it always worked out exactly the same with these two numbers for all the sizes. So don't mind that. So pick the size that you are making. I will be making a three to six months. So that means I'm starting with 62 chains. You want to make bigger, start with 68. So make a slip knot and start chaining until you have the number of the chains that you need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I will keep going until I have 62 chains. 62 chains done. Now it might look a little bit long now. Have in mind that this is going to be, the two fronts are going to be crossing each other. Okay, so one is going to be under the other one. Okay, so I'm doing this, you might be doing that. You just look at your numbers that are written down here. So we all start with putting up another chain. So chain one, so an extra chain. Now we are going to skip two chains, skip one, skip two into the third chain, make a double crochet. These two chains in the very beginning that we have skipped, we count that as a stitch. So that's one, I just made another one, two. I need 13. If you're making this, you need 14. So I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So this is the beginning of our row one. So next up, you might see a little number one right here. That is our corner. So grab a stitch marker into the next chain. You're going to put three double crochets. One, two and three. You're going to turn your work facing you so that loop on the hook does not count. Count the second stitch from the hook, so stitch one, stitch two, and mark that. That is going to be a corner in the next row. Next up is the sleeve or the over the shoulder part and I have nine double crochets and I start counting from the next chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You might have 10 if you're doing the bigger size. Now we are on to the second corner. So again, grab yourself a stitch marker into the next chain. We're going to make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Again, mark your second stitch, stitch one and stitch two. Okay, so we are on to the back of the cardigan. Now this is where our pattern starts and it is slightly different for both yokes. So I'm doing this. So I will go straight into skipping two stitches and starting my V stitch. Now, if you're making the bigger size right here, I have drawn right here a double crochet. So once you make the, the uh, corner into the next stitch, you make a double crochet and then you start the pattern just like me. So you're gonna skip two and start your V stitch. Now I do not need that. So I'm gonna take that out and again, you have 
one double crochet just after the that corner and one double crochet before you start the next corner right here just because you have 16 stitches in the back and I have 14 so if you're making my size you do not have to do a double crochet here right after the corner you're just gonna skip two stitches into the third one excuse me into the chain to the third chain make a double crochet chain two and a double crochet back into that same chain so you make a v-stitch you are going to skip two stitches or excuse me two chains one two into the third one you make a double crochet chain two and a double crochet again yarn over skip two chains one two into the third one make a double crochet chain two double crochet and one more again yarn over skip two into the third one double crochet chain two and double crochet so this is our pattern at the back now again remember you might have one extra double crochet right here so you need to skip two chains and make a double crochet into the third chain if you're making this now i do not have a double crochet because i have less stitches right here so what i'm going to do is i skip two chains and go straight into making my third corner so one two and three double crochets I'm going to mark my second stitch from the hook so stitch one and two and let's just quickly have a look so this is how our back looks like like again I'm just trying to make sure that you understand right here you're going to have a, an extra double crochet and an extra double crochet before and after these corners everything else is exactly the same let's keep going so again this part right here after the corner you start making your double crochets i have nine so one two three four five six seven eight and nine our last corner right here so three double crochets into the same chain one two and three mark your second stitch stitch one and two and continue on if you have uh, made the correct amount of chains you should have 13 or 14 double crochets left into the next chain one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, and 13. And this is the end of our row one. And this is how our neckline looks like. Okay, so we do not need this anymore. Have a good look if you need that. I will post this on my Facebook page if somebody needs to have a look. For now, we are done with it. I'm gonna put that away. And we are on to part, uh, exact, excuse me, to uh, row two. So every row for now is going to start with chain one, turn around, and start making your double crochets all the way until you get to that stitch marker. So your first double crochet goes into that very, very first stitch under the chain one. And keep going just like that 
When you get to that stitch marker, take that out and put three double crochets all into the same stitch. So one, two, and three. Put just stitch marker into the second chain from the hook. So, excuse me, the second stitch. So one and two. And keep going to the next stitch marker with one double crochet into each stitch. Again, stitch marker, take that out, make three double crochets into that stitch, one, two, and three, mark your stitch number two, one and two, and then you're going to have a good look right here now. So I only have one stitch right here under the behind the corner or after the corner. So I'm gonna make a double crochet in here. If you're making a bigger size, you're probably gonna have two. So you don't want to do anything for now with this double crochet. So the stitch is in front of that double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over and make a front post, double crochet, so over that one or under that one. Now, we're going to make a double crochet into that chain of the V-stitch. We're going to chain one, go back into that chain and make a double crochet. And that second double crochet from the V-stitch again gets a front post double crochet, like this. Now this is going to be a repeat, so remember one time you're going to have to make these stitches and then this is what you are going to make for the second or for the next uh, row. Again, next V-stitch, first of all, front post, double crochet over the first double crochet from the V-stitch, then a double crochet into that chain two, chain one, double crochet back in there with under the chain two and a front post double crochet. Our third V-stitch, you start with a front post, then a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the chains or under the chains and a front post double crochet. And our last one, front post, double crochet, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And you finish with a front post, double crochet. And this is, you can see, how this looks like. Now, uh, finish off all the rest of your stitches before the stitch marker. So I have only one. In this row, you might have two. Again, you should have the same amount of double crochets on both sides before this pattern and after. Next up is our corner. Take the stitch marker out, make three double crochets. One, two, <clears throat> and three. Mark your second stitch, stitch one and stitch two, and keep going with double crochets. Now I'm going to meet you, uh, at the next stitch marker because we have to start making our buttonholes in, in the end of row two. Okay, so take that out, make a corner there with three double crochets. One, two, and three. Mark your second stitch, so one and two. And now we need to count back a little bit. We need to count uh, back to the stitch number nine from the end. So we have two chains right here that count as a stitch in the very, very beginning. So that is one, that is two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is going to be my first buttonhole. You can either remember that, which stitch that was, or you can just grab something and mark it if that makes it easier for you. Now before, until we get to that stitch, we just keep going with double crochets. Okay, so the next stitch right here is my buttonhole, so I'm going to take that out. I'm going to chain one, I'm going to skip that stitch, go into the next one, and make six double crochets. So that's one into the next one, two, three, four, five, and six so at the end you should have one stitch left and that chain two so this is going to be our second buttonhole so again chain one skip that stitch and in the top of that chain two we're going to make our last double crochet and this is how row two looks like just like that so your buttonholes are under your left hand when when the pattern in the back is facing upwards okay okay row three so this is uh, going to be now a repeat row so you're going to chain one turn and make a double crochet back into that very first stitch now there's the chain one from the buttonhole just make a double crochet under that chain and keep going with your double crochets. Again, my second buttonhole. Just make a double crochet and keep going. My stitch marker, I'm going to take that out and make a corner like always. Corners are always going to be the same, so three double crochets into that same stitch. One, two, and three. Mark second stitch to get ready for the next row and keep going with double crochets. And I'm going to see you right here. I am at the back of my little coat right here. I made my corner and now you just need to look carefully, okay? So you might have a different amount, so you are probably going to have an extra uh, double crochet right here if you're making the bigger size. So each double crochet gets one double crochet and we have to stop where our front post from the last row starts. So we can really see it very well that this stitch is from the front post double crochet. So we are going to stop before that stitch. So we only have two double crochets before that. Like this. Just make sure that if you are making a bigger size that you are going to have an extra stitch right here. Next. So we're gonna skip all this, go into that chain one space and make a double crochet. Chain two double crochet right <laughs> straight into the next one into the chain space double crochet chain two and double crochet again so we should have four v stitches after the last v stitch look carefully don't make a double crochet into that front post this is the stitch right here you skip over that and continue until you get to that corner take that out make your corner mark your second stitch and keep going with your double crochets and i'm gonna see you right here
I am at my last stitch right here make a double crochet chain one turn around and we are on to row four so from now on our rows are going to be repeat rows so again chain one double crochet into the same stitch and keep going uh, this will all be the same our yoke will be expanding and it will be getting longer and wider and bigger in every way so for now just keep going I'm gonna meet you at the back right here again and just remind you how to do this front post and everything just in case you need and again we're at the back so do your double crochets as many as you have to do here if you are not quite sure the probably the easiest way to remember is that you always have you will always have an extra double crochet than you had in the previous row I had two double crochets in the previous row this row I have three before I start my pattern at the back like this once you get to your first V you get a front pose double crochet double crochet under the chain two chain one double crochet and a front post around the second of that double crochet from the V in the previous row and you start the next one with the front post double crochet under chain one double crochet front post front post double chain double front post and I have one more and finish with the front post double crochet and keep going with doubles until you get to that stitch marker then you make your corner and keep going so we'll be going back and forward until we get to that point where we need to connect now there's one thing that we're going to do uh, before connecting I'm gonna quickly show you what I'm going to do and uh, I will show you exactly how to do it just this is sort of a uh, I don't know I just want to tell it about it a little bit early okay so this is the yoke okay so for the size that I'm making it is 11 centimeters and we will be measuring this corner right here to the stitch marker at the moment I am at six centimeters I need to be at 11 for the full length so right here now one thing that we are going to need to do is we are going to have to lift the back of our coat that means at, at this point the front and the back are at the same level right here so you see if you put them together the back is not sticking out and you can see how deep it is now we are going to put two extra rows at the back so it looks a little bit more like this so that back part is higher than the front to do that we need to keep going until we are two rows short for till getting to that yoke measure so you can see row one and row two I'm gonna measure how long two rows are so two rows make three centimeters for me you can see right here so I just put it up and three centimeters for two rows as I need full length to be at 11 centimeters I'm going to 11 minus three the two rows that I have just measured okay I get eight centimeters in length so I'll keep making until this measures eight centimeters or a little bit more you can go over that measurement it does not matter you just as long as you're not going to go short okay otherwise it might be too small so two rows short I'm gonna go until I'm about eight centimeters in full length now you still need to measure those okay just to make sure you might have a little bit more or less than me so I have exactly three you might have two and a half you just take that two and a half away from this full length 
and then keep going until you get there. So I'm at six. I'm gonna stop when I am at eight and the rest three or two rows that will be left until I get to my 11. I'm just going to do two extra rows at the back and lift this up. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, don't worry. I will be back once I'm done. It's probably another row or two and I will show you exactly what we're and so I have finished my yoke. I am about two rows short. Remember again, two rows make up three centimeters for me. So I am at about eight and a half centimeters in length now, perhaps a little bit more, but I have not stretched. If I add another three centimeters to this measurement that I have now, I will end up about 11 and a half centimeters in full length. I only need 11, but it is okay to be uh, a little bit over that as long as you are not short. Okay, so we are ready to do the extra two rows in the back. Again, it doesn't matter what row you're on. I am. Uh, I have just finished six rows right now. You might be uh, a row in front of me or you, you might have seven rows. It does not matter, okay? You just, when we are doing the back, you just keep up that pattern going, which, whatever you have to do with it. Okay, so to do the back, we are going to need another source of yarn if you have that. So as I crochet and I take my yarn from the inside of the ball, for this, I am just going to take the other end that is on the outside of my skin. So I'm just gonna use that so I don't have to cut that in front of here. Perhaps you have another skein of, of the same yarn or uh, I don't know, maybe a little leftovers from before. If you don't, you're gonna have to chain one here, cut your yarn and do the back with me first and then you're gonna have to reconnect it. Okay, so I'm using the other end of my skein and okay, so first of all, put your yoke that those uh, front post double crochets are facing up okay so this is the good side of our cardigan this is what we are going to see on the pattern then you're going to look where your uh, where you have finished i have finished under my left hand right here so i will have to turn my work before i start to do that if you finished on the other side right here you are just going to connect straight away no turning you will connect to this corner with this stitch marker. As I finished on that side, I'm gonna take my hook out. I am going to make a slip knot with my other piece of yarn. I'm gonna flip my work and connect to this corner, okay? So I want my, um, my knot to be on the inside of the cardigan. So I'm gonna pull it like this. Now, the same for everybody. We are going to chain one and we are going to make two double crochets into that uh, stitch with a stitch marker. So one double crochet, chain one doesn't count as a stitch, one double crochet and the second one in there. Then we will keep going with double crochets until we get to that place where we have to start our pattern. right here so I stop because that next stitch is my front post double crochet that I do not need to make double crochets in. okay so I am on my row with the V stitch so I go straight into that chain two and start my V stitches if you need to do your row with front and uh, front post double crochets you just do that Once we finish our pattern, we continue with double crochet. So I skip these two because this is the pattern. I start after that with double crochets. And in the very last stitch where the stitch marker is, 
we are going to make two double crochets. So we do an increase. So one and another one. Two. So we have done one row. We're going to chain one. We're going to turn. We're going to make two double crochets into that very, very first stitch. So right here, one double crochet, two double crochets, and then we keep going until we come to that pattern in the very, very back. And then continue with whatever you have to do here. So I have front post double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, front post. And just keep going until you finish this pattern. Once you finish the pattern, keep going with double crochets one into each stitch until you get to the very last one. So your very last stitch might be a small stitch on the side right there. So make two double crochets. One and Two. If you're not sure if you have a stitch there or not, just count how many double crochets you had on the one side. So you should have the same amount on this side as well. And remember that chain one does not count as a stitch. And we are done. So this is how our back should look like. We're going to chain one and cut our yarn. Pull out that hook. So you can see right, right now, if you match this corner and this corner and the same on the other side the back is sticking out higher than the front so this is exactly what we wanted okay so we're continue we're going to continue on and we will be connecting the yoke right now so first of all we are going to look if we need to do uh, any chains underneath the armholes or if we need or how many we need to do we need to do at least one okay so it will be easier for us to do the sleeves so we look up the chest finished right here for the age that we're making so three to six months for me is 48 centimeters in total as we are only going to measure the back we only need a half of this measurement so after the slash I have this little number it's 24 centimeters so this is what I will be measuring for I'm not going to pull on it and I'll measure from what from the last from one side to another and I am at 22 and a half centimeters now I need 24 so I'm one and a half centimeters short I'm just going to place my measuring tape where I have my double crochets right here and see how many double crochets fit into that one and a half centimeter so you can see from here to here uh, exactly two uh, double crochets fit in that so I'm gonna do two chains underneath each armhole you might need more you might need less uh, like I said a minimum of one chain okay so we're almost there one more thing before connecting is that we on the, on the row that we are connecting our yoke we need to make the second set of our buttonholes now for me this time it is in the beginning of the row remember on the second row when we did we did it at the end of the row as i will be going this way i will be doing that in the beginning of the row if you are one row in front of me you will be connecting and again just like we did in the second row you will count nine stitches back and the stitch number nine you're going to skip and do exactly the same as we did here and then the second last one you are going to skip again to make those buttonholes as i'm going that way 
I will be doing the buttonholes first. And remember, uh, you are doing everything as I am doing. Just you're going the other way. Okay? So, as I am on to the buttonhole straight away, I have chained one. I have, I'm going to make a double crochet, chain one, and skip one stitch. I'm going to make six double crochets now, so count one, two, three, four, five, and six. The six double crochets in between our buttonholes. Chain one, skip a stitch, and then keep going with double crochets until you get to the third stitch from your first stitch marker. So, your stitch marker is here, so I have, this is one stitch one, stitch two, and stitch three. Now, we did increases right here, which the front did not get, so we need to catch, catch up with it. So, in the third, so one, two, and three, into the third stitch from the stitch marker, make two double crochets. Into the second stitch from the marker, make two double crochets again. And then where the stitch marker is, just make one double crochet. Now you're gonna chain the amount of chain that you have counted out here that you're missing. So I am missing two chains. One, two. I'm gonna skip all that. This is going to be our armhole. I'm gonna make a double crochet into the very first stitch right here at the back. And I will continue on with double crochets until I get to my pattern right there in the back. Okay, so this is my last double crochet. I have my V stitches. Chain two, double crochet, and keep going until you finish that. Then continue, make sure that you skip those stitches from the pattern that you need to skip, and go in and make your double crochets. So this is my last stitch right there. I'm going to make a double crochet. I am going to chain the same amount of chains as I did on the other side. So that is two for me. One and two. I will skip all that sleeve. Go into the stitch where my marker is. Make one double crochet. And then the next two stitches get two double crochets each. So it's equal on both sides. So two stitches with two double crochets in it. And then continue, continue to the end with one double crochet. So I am going to finish this row, chain one, turn around, and I'm going to meet you right here. So it is only a simple double crochets until you get to the chains. Now if you have buttonholes, you just put a double crochet into each of those um, chains right here okay so under those chains just to just as we did right here so I'm gonna meet you right here I am at my armhole and I have one stitch from the double crochet left 
I'm gonna make a double crochet there and then I have my chains under the armhole so into each chain put a double crochet just put it onto the inside of the chain it doesn't matter how many strands of yarn you will get we are just going to use the leftover what is left over from the chain uh, to connect our sleeves and then you continue with your double crochets now it might get a little bit more difficult right here to see where you have to stop before the pattern uh, starts so just make sure that you are looking closely so you don't make too many stitches because we will soon start increasing that back and it will be getting bigger and bigger and bigger so again I can clearly see that this is my last double crochet before the pattern starts make a double crochet there and I am on my front post double crochet double chain one double crochet and front post so finish that pattern in your in the back once you finish with it start doing your double crochets so remember I think the easiest way to remember that the stitch from the previous row so if you look at this double crochet right here the stitch from that double crochet is slightly to the left in front of it so right there that stitch is from this double crochet from the V stitch and you keep going so I do exactly the same right here I'm gonna meet you at the end of this row before the buttonholes I'm at my buttonholes so right here under that chain I make a double crochet and keep going again this was the chain one make a double crochet and a double crochet into the very last stitch so let's have a quick look how everything looks like make sure that your uh, all your buttonholes are on the same side like this you can see right here and this is the moment where we are going to start decreasing in the front in the beginning of the row at the end of the row and we will do extra stitches in between our pattern okay <clears throat> so instead of chaining one as we did before we're going to chain two so chain two it does not count as a stitch we make a double crochet back into that very very first stitch okay then we crochet the next two double crochets together okay so go yarn over go into that next stitch pull the yarn out you have three loops yarn over pull through two and stop yarn over go into that next stitch pull out the loop you have four loops yarn over pull through two we have three loops left yarn over pull through all three loops and then after that you continue with one double crochet until you get to the pattern in the back so just like that keep going okay so I made my my way down where my pattern is starting at the back so I am uh, doing the V stitch right now okay so first you do the V stitch into the very first row of the pattern so I'm um, we have four in total so make the first one as you would normally do whatever you have to do with it if it's post uh, then you do front post if it's a V stitch like like with me you do that okay so then you are gonna find that in between that space in between it doesn't matter again if it's v-stitches or you had um, front post stitches in the previous row you just find that place in between the first and the second one and you're just going to make three double crochets there one two and three now you continue on continue that pattern whatever you have to do with it okay so I have V stitch 
I make a V stitch. Again, I find the next middle in between my front posts from the previous row. In between them, I make three double crochets. Then I'm going to do my V stitch. And the last one in between the two last ones into that space. Again, we do three double crochets. And finish off your last stripe of that pattern. So, as you can see, we have inserted three double crochets in between all four of our stripes of pattern. Now, it will be a little bit harder in the next row. We're gonna have to figure out those stitches, but it is okay. You just keep going. After you make the last one, double crochets until you get to the third last stitch of this row. I have three stitches left to the end of this row and the last two stitches I crochet together. So doing a decrease and just a normal double crochet into the very last stitch of the row. So like this. It's going to start increasing in the back and decreasing in the front, in the both fronts. Okay, so to start the next row, again, you're going to chain two. Chain two doesn't count as a stitch, turn around. Next, uh, you're going to put a double crochet back into the same stitch under that chain two. Next two stitches get, uh, we are going to crochet together. And continue with a double crochet until you get to that pattern in the back of the cardigan. I have made my way down to the pattern. So right here you can make out my V stitch. I just continue on with what I would normally do. And a front post like this. Then we have those three double crochets in between our little stripes here in the back. Okay, so we will be increasing by one stitch in every row. So make a double crochet, make an increase, so two double crochets into the middle stitch, and one double crochet. We had three in the previous row, we have four now. Then look carefully with your another stripe of this pattern. So I have front post, double crochet, chain one, double crochet and front post. Again, this is the second one of our increases at the back. So double crochet into that first stitch, two double crochets into the middle stitch, and one double crochet into the last one. Again, now we have four double crochets in between. My third stripe of the pattern. And my last increase right here. So double crochet, two double crochets into that middle stitch, and one double crochet. Again, I have four. And my last stripe of pattern. And 
and continue on until you get to the third last stitch of this row. Keep going. I have my three last stitches are right here. Make sure that you do not count the, any of those two chains right here as a stitch. So as you can see, one, two, and three. The two last ones, two, sorry, the, the second and the third last are decreased. And the last one is just a simple double crochet. Chain two, turn double crochet into that very first stitch and a decrease. Continue on with one double crochet into each stitch until you get to your pattern in the back of this coat. Got to my first stripe of the pattern and I'm doing uh, V-stitches now, so V-stitch, then we have four double crochets in between them now, okay, so we need to increase into five as we don't have uh, one stitch that would be into in the very very middle of these four, we just use any of those that are closest to the middle, so let's say the second one, I'm gonna do an increase here, and then I'll just do one and one. So I have five double crochets now. Three, four, five, there will be six, seven, eight, and so on and so on until we finish our cardigan. Next up, if you need, you can just stretch it out a little bit. So V stitch for me here. Then I have the four double crochets here again. I'm gonna do the increase closer to the middle, as close to the middle as I can. So two double crochets right here. So one, then two, this is my increase. And then I keep going with one double crochet. Again, I have five now. My next stripe of pattern, chain two, double crochet, and my last increase again. one double crochet, then I do an increase of two double crochets into the same stitch, one and one, and my last stripe of pattern, chain two, double crochet, skip over to where your double crochets start after the pattern, and keep going until the third stitch from the end of this row. As you can see, it is already uh, spreading out in the back. Four, uh, excuse me, three stitches from the end of this row. So if, if it helps you, take those two chains like this and you will be able to see three stitches. Make a decrease. And then finish with one double crochet. Chain two, and this is going to be the last row that I will show you because it is all uh, going to be exactly the same. So repeat, repeat, repeat. Decrease in the beginning of the row at the end of the row and increase in between those stripes of pattern every time. So chain two, double crochet back into the same stitch make a decrease, keep going with double crochets until you hit that pattern. Get to the back, you continue with your pattern, whatever you're, you have to do. I have front post. And then we have our double crochets in between 
So one, two, three, four, five from previous row. We are going to turn them into six double crochets. So again, try to make your increase as close to the middle of it as you can. So an increase right here. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets. Continue on with your pattern. Again, I have five double crochets, we're going to make six. So, in about the middle of this, I make two double crochets in the same stitch. And our last one, so again, one, two, three, four, five, we will turn that into six. And increase in about the very middle of those stitches. As there will be getting more stitches, you're just going to have to, um, I don't know, perhaps like take a little guess which one is about the middle. I don't count them. I just do, uh, when I crochet them, I just do an increase about around the middle of these double crochets. And then continue on with your pattern and double crochets until you get to the third last stitch. So like this and keep going. Three last stitches again. Make sure chain two that the chain two is out of the way, so you don't count that as a stitch. Make a decrease and a double crochet. Chain two, turn, double crochet, decrease, and just keep going. So I'm not going to show you anymore as I have said because it is all repeat, repeat, repeat. I think you, you you probably got the message of what we are doing here. And as you can see our fronts from decreasing are starting to, you see, so they are starting, they're taking a shape now. And the back is getting wider. So at this point we just keep going until we reach uh, almost uh, almost all length, okay? So I have written this down. So the length of this cardigan or coat, we will be measuring from the armhole right here. So uh, bottom length from the armhole, I have written that down. So plus minus this number. So 17 centimeters for the smallest size, 18, 19 and a half, and 20 and a half centimeters. About, that's, um, uh, about this length uh, around there. Okay, so I have 18 centimeters. At this point, I am at seven. So I will keep going. Once I get close to that 18, or perhaps a little bit shorter, around there somewhere, okay? I'll make sure that I'll stop when I have, uh, uh, when, I, when my last row is going to be with the V stitch, okay? Our very, very last one, we are going to fill it all in, fill, fill in all the gaps and uh, finish our front and back right here uh, beautifully. So just to be sure, I'll meet you at, down at the end of the cardigan, at the bottom of the cardigan, uh, around the, this length right here, with the last row being V-stitch. Then we will finish everything up. Okay, so this is again, uh, this is the end of part one. And this is what we're looking at right now. So we just keep making and this gets wider and wider and wider. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in part two. Bye!